Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hi, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial video on how to fix your PS4 NAT type issues. Recently, I purchased a new router, a Netgear Nighthawk AC1900, as part of a network upgrade project for my new home. And, after setting up the router, I experienced the dreaded NAT type failed issue on my PS4. I didn't make any changes to my PS4 that would have otherwise caused this issue, and while Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was still showing my NAT type as open, I was experiencing odd network behaviors that I otherwise was not experiencing before on my old router, such as higher than normal ping times when checked during gameplay, lag spikes, and joining in games late when the rest of my party already started. So I double checked my settings, making sure that my IP address settings were not changed inadvertently, making sure that my Ethernet cable was not having issues, and making sure that my PS4 was made the DMZ server according to my router. By the way, if you don't know how to set your PS4 as the DMZ router, and if you're experiencing a strict NAT type when playing Call of Duty, please check out my other video which I will link in the description below. I also tried resetting my modem and my router a few times to see if it was an issue with the hardware, but none of these things fixed my NAT type issue. Now as far as I know, there are two ways that you can fix this issue. The first way would be to directly connect your PS4 to your modem. This will definitely fix the issue as there is no more router in between your PS4 and the modem. Unfortunately. Unless you're living alone or you have the convenience of directly connecting your PS4 to your modem at any time, usability wise, this solution will not work for you. Now, the other way is to change a certain security setting on your router that changes the behavior of the way NAT filtering works. Now, according to Netgear, the NAT filtering option determines how the router deals with inbound traffic. The secured option provides a secured firewall to protect the PCs on LAN from attacks from the internet, but it may cause some internet games, point-to-point -point applications, or multimedia applications not to work. The open option, on the other hand, provides a much less secured firewall, while it allows almost all internet applications to work. What this is saying is that, while using the secured option, you will be better protected against attacks from the internet, but you may run into issues with some internet games. While using the open option, you are almost guaranteed that all internet applications, including internet games, will work properly, but the expense of your network security. So how do you make this change? Well, all you need to do is log into your router, go to your WAN setup, and the NAT filtering option should be there. Now please remember, this, this is for a Netgear router, so if you don't have a Netgear branded router, this may not apply to you, or this setting may be worded differently, in which case I would recommend to check your manual for more details on how to change this option. By changing the NAT filtering option from secure to open, saving and applying my changes and rebooting the router, when I ran my PS4 network test, not only did I finally receive the NAT Type 2 option again, but I also noticed that my connection download and upload speeds were recorded to be much higher than I have ever experienced when running this test previously, especially the download speed. So you are probably wondering, is this change worth the cost of less security? Well, that depends on how paranoid you are. As long as I have been gaming, I have never experienced any type of DDoS or attack on my network that would have made me revert back to my default security settings. I have been using the setting change for several days now and I have to say this is a very welcome change as my in-game ping times are now much lower than they previously were and I have a far more stable connection experience than I previously did. Before that, I have my set my PS4 as a DMZ router since the PS4 came, uh, first came out and I have not experienced any issues whatsoever. So my suggestion would be to test it out for yourselves and see if you notice any difference. If you do, then test it out for a day. If you are comfortable with the new change, then by all means stick with it. 
If you feel that the change is not worth the added security risk, then please check the settings back to default, keeping in mind that your gaming experience will be negatively impacted. So that's all I have for today, folks. So please leave a like, and please feel free to leave me any comments below if you have any questions. Also, please subscribe to my channel for future content, and most importantly, please share this video to any others who are experiencing this issue in the hopes that this will help them solve their NAT type issues as well. So please enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace! They're against the wall. Press your advantage. UAV spotted. Friendly tower is your AO.